What's up guys? This is the Roman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Roman em as the Roman Empire. As the British Empire. So to pick off where we left off, we have got a little scrap with the uh, Russians before the walls of Vilnius. What I'm going to do in a bit of a surprise turn is Sally and see them off. I'm not going to fight a normal siege because that seems a bit uh, a bit redundant at this point because they're not going to get in. So it would be much quicker, I think, to just deploy out in the field and sweep them away from our territory. A couple of their units still have some strength, but we have more. Yeah, part of these battles are kind of demonstrating why I don't want to leave Vilnius ungarrisoned or at least with a weak garrison, because we've seen they will not let up. So let's deploy... Because some of our weak units might... weakest units might stay in here. Just to maintain ownership of the... the centre. Dispatch one force. Yeah, I didn't expect that, did you, Russia? Spread the men out. Deploy the cavalry on the flank. Looks like they're charging in. Not that they will... Yeah, they don't have much of a chance. Oh, we're going to patriot this, mother. I mean, you're not going to get many kills from there. Okay, let's charge my cavalry in to the militia to take him out. Okay, let's get make sure we charge so we get some bonuses. May as well just charge in here. Throw in my militia there. Throw in my Highlanders there rather. They've launched an, an attack on our front. But at what cost? At what cost? Cavalry, 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 cavalry. Let's run them around. Oh, wait, no. Don't worry. I was about to say, not my general. No, that's not my general. Come on, mon frere. These swans think they can defeat us. Not so fast. You guys think you can run into the city. Not so fast. They do think they can think them. Island of Foot, knock out the General's bodyguard. Good. Let's get my Brunswick of Dragoons on the way. Well, on the move. There we go. Let's bring you guys back just in case. Slaughter them a bit more, charge these men in. There 
go, might. Highlanders should be doing a good number on there against their regiment of foot. You guys charge into the Cossacks. Yeah, the general's been killed. go. So it's a bit more bloody than a siege would be, but it was a bit more interesting, I think, for you guys, because we've fought a few of these battles now. <laughs> yeah, I lost a lot more men than if I sieged it, but whatever. We can harvest plenty more men from the countryside. Good. Oh. Well, these 13 colonies are sort of slowing the French down. Because what I want is to, well, I'd like the 13 colonies to beat the French, but it seems like that's probably not going to happen. So let's see. I need to, I need to definitely remember to not to forget to give the Mughal Empire some military tech to try and hold off the, uh, the Maratha Confederacy. I expect they need money more than anything, but then again, the AI cheats a lot to give these factions money. So, A, I'm not going to give them any because of because the AI cheats, and B, uh, I don't have the money to give them anyway. Yep, pirates finally got back to blockading us, but as a matter, we're at 10 grand, which is pretty dope. So then we've got these men here that are. They are replenished. Throw these men into the mix as well. But I want to just make sure I've got all my... All my uh, things sorted out before I do the attack. You guys put them under siege. We're not going to fight them yet. Nation destroyed Venice. Have the Ottomans taken Venice again? They have. Building constructed... Okay, we've got a next-gen... Industrial buildings, let's upgrade the Weaver's Cottage to do the same job, and let's go over to Lithuania. First of all, let's pick up a general, Ashley Croft. Spend another thousand on replenishment here, spend some money here. Let's probably get... no, I don't want militia. Upgrade the clearances. Trade route raided by the... <laughs> He's got a brig named Cuckold. Well, it's like a red rag to a bull. You don't want to cuckold my trade room, trade room, buster. Who's the cuckold now? Yoink. Well, not yoink, but... Hello. In the free trade zone it is. Although I don't want all of them to go there. Yeah, our spies have done well. Let's take Elias Haskett. And let's go and capture Chikasa and see if that brings the United, the 13 colonies, sorry, into the fold. I think maybe it might have, to be, might have something to do with my, I might have to restart my PC. Maybe, maybe something's changed in the background. Let's, yeah, this is going to be pretty darn awesome when we get the 13 colonies on our side and it probably means that the French will not be happy with us as well. We've got one gun but we've got a bucket load of infantry and a bucket load of cavalry and a bucket load of pikes. A pretty much perfect force configuration fight the Native Americans. So bring out cavalry. We are going to get a general unit as reinforcements. Funny thing is, we've attacked them, but I think they are going to move up to us. 
Uh, bring in a regiment of horse. Let's speed up time while my cavalry trot up into position. So let's do a let's do a blackbird speed run to get some intelligence. Bowman right at the back. Hey, the regiment of horses back here. It's pretty dope. Hit that garrison bowman. Ah, there's more garrison bowmen. They've gone. There's a bunch of units still unaccounted for. This regiment of horse might slowly dig them out if they're all hidden back here. Ah, you guys run! Don't get sucked into the combat, you fools! Yeah, there they are. There's some Native American warriors hidden back there. These guys whooping and hollering. Run! Run, Luke, run! Okay, that broke. That unit... Hey, there's some garrison bowmen. Back there. So they'll probably come back. There we go. They're so desperate to chase after my cavalry that they're going to run into my gun line. Perfect. Counter charge my cavalry, regiment of horse. Just knocked out another bowman. No, nope. native native warriors, run away. There's a unit over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. I right clicked on where it was hidden and the game was like, you want to attack it? Sure thing, even though I couldn't see it. These armed tribesmen are just going to get cut down. Cavalry up. Ideally, to avoid the warriors. Chase down softer targets like the bowmen. Oh, brave, brave souls, all of them. Not sword proof. Okay, let's run this cavalry back through my line. Keep running. Nail it back through my line to draw them back if they want to come in. Get you guys out of there. You guys also run back through the line. This colonial cab can come out and start to chase down the routing units. These dragoons can come around and pick off some of the straggler bow units. There we go, when the armed tribesmen try to chase down my, my regiment of horse. Okay. Now we're starting to get a good feel for where the enemy units have been hiding. Those colonial dragoons can engage the mounted gunners. You men charge onto the bows.
Come on. Make them rout. Yes. So you chase everyone else down to make sure they are shattered. Oh, these Native American warriors, you guys run back. Regiment horse. Chase down the Native warriors. Shattered. Broken. Hello, native bowmen. Twenty-first. If you turn around, you might be get a, vo a great volley into the, into those, into those uh, Native American warriors. Engage. Good stuff. Keep chasing down the bowmen. These warriors try to square off against the 33rd foot. I'm pretty sure that's down near everyone, except over here. They're both shattered. Tribal gunners nearly beat have nearly beaten my dragoons by shooting them. Cheeky swines. Okay, you guys run back through this line. It seems to be one of the better ways to deal with these units when they get loose by their uh, their infantry seems dead keen to charge my dragoons so just leg my dragoons back through my own line where my superior firepower can come to the fore can you guys stop shooting the dragoons that are currently fighting the mounted tribal gunners pull off so I've got my colonial light They charge them while another year Colonial Dragoons is pushing up. Uh, these guys haven't formed their line yet. Actually just get, turn around and hit them. You guys stop firing at will. Once these mounted tribal guys are done for I think, that's them taken care of. Which is, this is their general unit. I mean, it's not an actual general, it's just a captain, but whatever. I think that's everyone, unless someone's hidden. Yeah, that's everyone. Well, the key now is, do we get the 13 colonies, or do we have to take Teleco? I could have looked it up, but... Yeah. Oh, I think we do, then. We must do. I mean, I can't... It's annoying that fight after declare on New Spain because it means I also have to worry about fighting Spain, but it does mean we can take. Well, if I declare on New Spain, it will just be me versus Spain. Alright, let's do this. Minor nation, New Spain, open, cancel trade agreement, hostile, declare war, don't call my allies. So now I'm at war with Spain, which is a bummer, but then this force can march over to Teleco, demand surrender. Okay. <laughs> How much territory do you want? Maybe in this maybe in this game I can't actually. Maybe in custom on Darth Maul I can't take over the 13 colonies. If they do, that'd be a bit of a bummer. But it does mean it gives me license to march up there and take Boston. Hmm. If these troops, can they leave Savannah? They can. Can they go over here? Demand the surrender of St. Augustine? Okay, maintain the siege. 
But then this force under Henry Dayton can attack New Orleans and remove one of the last major threats on uh, mainland, U mainland, yeah, the mainland US. Hmm. I'm going to have to look up. I'm going to have to try and do some investigating because I, my alarm bell started going off when I didn't have a objective to absorb the 13 colonies. And it would appear that I can't get them. Bit of a bummer, but not a, not a big deal. So just spread my men out. Do the same thing with my pikes cavalry. Where's my Irish volunteers? Let's do that. I mean, one of these troops is so useless. Let's just leave them back here. Okay, so we'll take you guys on this side of the camp. these two units push around the right flank with pike support cavalry coming up very much targeting my pikemen here assume we're going to be up here to push these mortars off And then we've got to worry about where the actually they're aiming at my gun now. Nope, apparently not. Still the pikes. Push through the trees. have lots of militia on the flank which isn't great but my, my Irish volunteers will be able to hold the line let's get my auto and shoot with the colonial lights right at the back okay, there we go starting to pour in musketry there we go it's already started to take effect Take these men, push up to the defences, keep my cavalry running around my troops. You men stay back. Don't shoot anyone in the back. Well, the Hessian line can also engage. Actually, okay, you take position here, but don't fire. Charge my cavalry in. The native bowman auxiliary. to charge their cavalry surprise the terror of the natives the British cavalry get ready to throw my pikes into the combat these pikes have been left in the, lift, left in the dirt The light cavalry is going to get chewed apart by my yeomanry. So yeomanry isn't great, but it's better than nothing. Pull these guys back. You guys can open up. No, pikemen, come back. 
cavalry are loose in their internal area. They've got to thread the gauntlet, run the gauntlet through a series of cavalry defences. To Farlock Arm, Sid and Maria have got uh, involved in this combat. Slam the flank shut hard. So we're going to start to see where their reinforcements will come in from. Unless they elected to not come in. Oh no, they're over there. Right, so you guys have to come back over here. With pike support. Yeah, you carry on mowing down the armed citizenry. Actually, you guys might swing right, hit the general's bodyguard. hit the native irregulars you guys sweep in you guys run back over here you guys jump on the general's bodyguard same with you pikes can chew apart mount a tribal auxiliary my yeomanry run over here to hit the musketmen oh those are those are louisiana skirmishes how dares he Men. Just run over here to hit the Coeur de Bois. You guys continue to swing east to west. General's bodyguard's been knocked out. That does mean that we can deploy our cavalry to knock out probably this infantry over here. Cavalry out of there. You guys hit the Coeur de Bois, same with you. Most of you guys charge down those Coeur de Bois, you guys smash in there. You guys hit the Tribal Auxiliary. Yep, you'll clear them out nicely. Cavalry have knocked out the militia, so they're making work on the Firelock Arm citizenry. Surprise, cavalrymen! Jabby jab, 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 jab. So let's charge our remaining troops over to the reinforcements. You may hit the native musketmen, you guys hit the colonial line, the militia are going to do a grand job against the rest of their troops. So they've got their own native warrior auxiliary. First regiment of the line have broken. Our pikemen are upset, or well, they were upset. Everyone else, get over here! The war is coming, you hear? Pour in. No strategy, only blood. Oh, 
everyone's frantically running over here. You guys might actually form a musket line. And pour fire into the scoundrels. Like, probably can actually be a better decision rather than sending in penny packets of troops. You're gonna have to stay in there because you're in now. The sixth. So, no, run my general away. Get these pikes over here to protect the general. Fire straight into the combat. See, there's a lot more of them once you get in there. There we go, they've even broken. There go most of the French. Except for the native Musketman Auxiliary, who routed. Turn off fire, I will. Good stuff. That last bit was a bit scrappy. Oh well, I'll still take it. Because <laughs> the end result is the end of the... The end of the Louisianans. There we go, we've taken... Well, we are now masters of the uh, most of the <laughs> masters of the continent, really. I'd like to send troops north to go knock out Eureka. Maybe I have to take maybe I have to take Florida as well. That might be it. I might be misremembering things. It could well be. It's been a long time since I played Great Britain, which is part of the reason why I wanted to play it. Let's get my spy into Berar. Not Berar, Villa, Villa de Bexar, not Berar. I've been fighting in the in the Indian theatre for too long. So what are we on put in? 13,000 gold a turn. That's pretty damn awesome. But looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.